I want to show you something seriously cool. This is a MacBook Pro. It's the latest 2017 model, but it's the base entry model. It's not got any uh, dedicated graphics. It doesn't even have the touch bar. So how is it then that I'm playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on my entry level MacBook Pro with basically 60 FPS and ultra settings? Magic, right? So how exactly is this working? How am I doing this? Well, it's through a new service called GeForce Now for Mac. Essentially, this is being streamed from NVIDIA's cloud performance gaming servers. So all the processing, all the grunt, all the hardware is offset and streamed. That comes with a few problems, like you need a fast internet connection, uh, you are susceptible to latency and input lag, things like that. And also this will be eventually a paid for service. But the plus sides are pretty huge if you're into your gaming and you're a fan of Apple's ecosystem and their software. So this is player unknowns, obviously, but if I alt tab out to the GeForce Now app, you can see a whole bunch of games that you can play. So basically you bring the Steam library and your Mac, Nvidia bring the power, the GeForce, the graphics. So far there are over a hundred optimized games, including PUBG, Fortnite, Overwatch, uh, Destiny, Wolfenstein 2, some of the latest games actually, and Nvidia want over 250 to be optimized by the end of the year. Now, just because a game isn't optimized through this service doesn't mean it wouldn't play. You could play pretty much any game on your Steam library on this, but Nvidia do some trickery and uh, configurations basically to optimize the performance and the graphics for this. So you do kind of want to stick with those optimized games. So despite the fact that this is being streamed with an input lag, Nvidia say of around 30 milliseconds, which is kind of high for a PC. Most PC monitors are around five to 10 milliseconds, but most TVs like we've got behind me, which are hooked up to games consoles, they can range from 20 to 200. But then again, if you are a pro gamer, chances are you've already got a gaming desktop with full fat windows and all your games on there. This service is for people who have a MacBook, they like using their MacBook or iMac, but they also like games. And so far at the moment, they don't really have a lot of options. So what do you need to get this working? Well, you need a Mac or an iMac, pretty much any Mac computer within the last few years will work as long as it's running a Mac OS 10.10 .10 or later. Nvidia recommend a 25 megabits per second down internet speed as a sort of minimum requirement, although they do recommend 50. They also recommend using uh, an ethernet where possible because obviously that will be a slightly more stable connection. Although I'm running off Wi-Fi, I get about 55 in my house and it's running pretty much flawlessly. And of course, using a trackpad for gaming isn't ideal, so you might want to plug in a mouse and get a little adapter for that, or even a PlayStation 4 controller will work with this. So let's run through the pros and cons to see whether this is something that maybe you should consider. First of all, it only runs on Mac right now. There will be a GeForce Now for Windows coming next year, but this is uh, only for Mac. It's also only in beta at the moment, but it will be coming for a full release after Christmas. So there's a good library of games. As I say, they're aiming to have over 250 optimized games by the end of the year, which Nvidia say make up 90% of what Steam users are playing. So all the big names. Because it's not using any of the internal hardware, First of all, that means I don't have to spec a really high-end Mac to get this to work. This will work on a MacBook or a MacBook Air, it's crazy. And because all that processing power is done in the cloud, it means there isn't really any battery drain either. I can use it without the power plugged in. I can take it around my house or wherever I want, as long as I've still got my stable internet connection and use it like that. It doesn't even overheat it. It's basically like streaming Netflix, but for games with 60 FPS, ultra settings. And even though you're bringing your Steam library, your purchases, to your account, your NVIDIA GeForce account, it's not installing it on the Mac. It's sort of just seeing that you've purchased it and then unlocking it from their cloud service. So then installation takes like two minutes and also means you're not filling up all your storage with games. But the downsides are, of course, you do need a fast and stable internet connection. So unlike a gaming laptop with Windows, you can't use this sort of on the train with a, you know, your power plugged in or uh, maybe in a hotel because you're gonna have sort of questionable Wi-Fi. You do need a good internet connection for this. So ideally really for, you know, at home or maybe even at the office if you've got some uh, time spare. And of course, all this doesn't come free. Nvidia is basically giving you the power of a GTX 1080 on your Mac. So, you know, it's gonna cost you. We don't know what the price is gonna be yet. I would imagine it will be less than $15 a month which considering it saves you having to buy a Windows PC with a GeForce 1080 graphics card and all that other stuff, could be actually a pretty good deal. But I have to say, I'm genuinely really excited about this. I think you guys should be too. Let me know in the comments what you make of it, whether it's something that you'd be interested in if you're a Mac owner uh, and what kind of price point you think would be best 
uh, for this. I'll put links to everything you need to know in the description below if you want to go and check those out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like and subscribe button down below. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers, so it would be a big help if you click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time right here on the Tech Chat. Now I'm actually going to drink my cup of coffee I made earlier, which it's gone cold now, but it'll do. See you next time.